Stanley. Hello, my friends. This is a new, uh, well, this is a video about the new NVIDIA GeForce experience. Uh, I went to restart my computer the other day and it just wasn't happening. I, the GeForce experience disappeared and I don't know what was going on. So I uh, went to the GeForce website. I have put the link in the description. All you got to do is just copy it, shove it in a whatever search engine you use and bang, just uh, download, click your life away. It'll download, you'll install it, it'll do its thing. It's going to ask you to log in. So make an account, do it through Facebook, whatever. I've connected mine to the taskbar down the bottom, as I do. And uh, well, there it is, there's a new one. It used to have a button up the top right. Uh, shadow play. Now I thought it disappeared. I was <laughs> completely devastated thinking how the hell am I going to record things? Um, it turns out after a bit of poking around there was no help on YouTube, but there it is. There's the button itself to find uh, streaming, broadcasting, recording and stuff. Now I can't show you how it works while it's actually recording, but what I will do is um, take some still shots of it and walk you through it. It certainly did get me out of a jam, but here it is. Now, here it is, the new NVIDIA GeForce Experience. All blown up, in the top right hand corner next to the little settings tab. Click on the little, well it looks like a little share button. Uh, click on that, it's going to bring up uh, you, some options for you. Instant replay, record and broadcast. I want you to go ahead and highlight record and click on it. Two options are going to come up, I'd like you to select customize and there you will find your settings for recording. Now these settings purely come down to you. It's, uh, you're far better off just, um, you know, not making it too complicated. It's either low, medium or high. And of course this depends on a bunch of different things, which is of course uh, your graphics card, your CPU, your RAM, does, will it run smooth? It doesn't matter which game you're doing it to, it's all relative. So I've played it safe here. Uh, I've got a fairly nice graphics card, but I just pressed high, left it at that. My um, in-game is what I'll be recording, the resolution. You can click on 1080, there's all sorts of resolutions there for you to choose. But to play it safe, go in-game, that way it will record exactly what you're seeing. And if you're happy with it, then the video is going to come out just fine. Now if you go ahead and go back one, uh, after you've of course pressed save, uh, go back one and there's a little settings tab on the right hand side. Now if you click on that, these are going to give you your preferences. So, you know, uh, recording, uh, your privacy settings, or you can see them there, overlays, blah, 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 broadcasting, because you can stream from here. Now, what I want you to do is go ahead and click on keyboard bindings. Now, this is important because it'll tell you exactly what buttons do what and what goes where and blah, blah, blah. So, uh, as you can see, I've changed my recording. Uh, I, I use manual mode. I don't trust shadow play which is, uh, you know, essentially what Shadowplay is named after. It records backwards. But don't trust it. You can use it if you want. Now, I set mine to Alt-0. Uh, Alt-O, sorry, excuse me. Alt-O, because that's a combination of buttons I would never use in any game under any, any circumstance. But here you can also change the uh, keyboard shortcuts for all the general stuff and broadcasting and blah, blah, blah. Set these buttons up to what suits you best and what you're not going to... You know, you'd like, don't set it to one or two or three, because you know you're going to use those buttons for something else. Now, the recording uh, tab on the same preferences page. Excuse me, I got lost for words there for a second. Uh, well, that's going to tell you where all your videos go. So choose carefully, because if you're recording in 1080, these files are going to get effing big. Uh, if you're recording in 4K, they're going to be redonkulously huge. So make sure you've got something that's got a fair bit of space when it comes to that kind of thing. Now, if you want to record your desktop, as I did earlier, you've got to go to the privacy settings down the bottom. And you will want to turn on desktop capture. Now, that is roughly about it when it comes to recording. You just press, well, I just press Alt-0. Uh, and it starts recording straight away. Now it does work fine. As you can see, I just recorded this footage of Battlefield today. I'm a terrible shot, but um, of course I'll cut out only the finest kills for you guys. Now, uh, if you've got any other questions about the new NVIDIA GeForce Experience setup, please just ask me. I will be spending the next couple of days playing around with it. Just leave a comment and I'll uh, have a look and check it out. All right, guys, I'm Charlie Daisy. Much love.